Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to set up and how to use a Timex Iron Man Transit Plus watch like this one. Now, this one is the rose gold, and so probably targeted more at women. Not necessarily, but probably. However, it comes in black as well. If yours is a man's uh, version, it's just a little bit larger, but it's exactly the same setup, so you can keep watching. So overall, what do I think of this thing? I think it's pretty good. It actually has a lot of functions. It's crazy cheap. This thing was about $50 Canadian or so. It was on sale from $75 or $80 Canadian, but I would imagine they're always on sale. It looks good, it feels solid, and my girlfriend had a previous version of this that didn't have the heart monitor and the step counter, and she quite liked it. Uh, there are four buttons on the outside that uh, you can press to configure and to make changes. There's also this metal button, which is a heart button. Timex calls this button A, button B, button C, and button D. We're going to say top left, top right, and so on and so forth. So to set it up, the first thing you do is press this button at the top left, what Timex calls the A button, and you hold it down for a few seconds, and then you get your time. The button on the top right and the uh, bottom uh, right are your up and down buttons. That's plus, that's minus. So say this was actually six o'clock, I can click that, but it's actually five. No, I've already done the setup on this, so this is correct. Now, one of the things to know is to get the AM to change to PM, you actually need to roll it. So watch, I will get to 12 and it will just change over. Okay, I'm gonna change it back because it is 5 PM here. When you have the setting as you'd like, you press the button at the bottom left to skip through to the next setting, which there you go, that's minutes. Uh, now, seconds, that's the date. Again, plus minus is how you change it. The month and day, is it a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock? Again, select what you would like. We're gonna leave this one at 12. This cont is a little odd, it's contrast. So let me just uh, change it for you. Uh, one of the things you can do, by the way, it's a, it's a scale from 0 to 20. And one of the things you can do is actually roll from 20 to 0 and vice versa. So I'm going to scale to negative here. Boom. And you can see, yeah, that's quite the contrast. So I'm going to change it back. I'll set it to 3. Do you want it kilometers or miles? Mine's kilometers because I'm in Canada. Uh, in this case, this is for my girlfriend. So I've set it to female. She's 50 something years old. <laughs> She's 162 centimeters tall. This is in centimeters because I set it to kilometers, which is metric. So mine's in metric. Yours may not be, you can toggle it back and forth, but I just Googled a conversion from her five foot four height to 160 centimeters. This is weight. Now to get out of this, you can either just wait and it will time out or you can press and hold the button again the A button, the one in the top left, and it will get you out of there. There it is. Now that's the time. The two cool features in here are the step counter and the heart monitor. This is what makes it a transit plus as opposed to a transit. I think the transit doesn't have the, either the heart monitor or the step counter, I can't recall which. So those are the two things I'm gonna assume you really care about. So how do you use them? Well, the step counter is pretty easy. Uh, the step counter uh, is uh, viewable by pressing the button at the top right, what Timex calls the B button. So I'll press that, and today this watch has done a thousand or 2,089 steps. Now you think, well, I want to reset it. You can't. Uh, and that was one of the things I called Timex for. Uh, it resets automatically at midnight, and there's nothing you can do about that. The next thing is the heart monitor. Put it on your wrist, and you can just press this big metal button and it will change over to HR. And it says to hold it for about 10 seconds. Uh, actually, it specifically says 10 to 12 seconds. But you can see in my case, it's not gonna do anything. What the heck is that about? Well, uh, this is the same for my girlfriend. Just doesn't work. Turns out that if you're in a really dry climate, like Alberta, it doesn't make really good contact with your skin. So what you have to do is get a little saliva or moisturizer and dampen it up. So. There, I'm just got a little bit of saliva there. I'm just gonna jam it under a little tiny bit and let's try it again.
There you go. Pretty cool, eh? Now, let's go through the other bits and pieces. I'll take this off to do that. You can go back to your step counter and then you can toggle through settings using the bottom right button. There are several things that this uh, watch will do, including a timer, an alarm, so on and so forth. So how do you toggle between them? That's the button down here, the bottom left. Click on the bottom left and you'll see what the settings are. So you can just click through here. Uh, data, I asked Tomix what data was and they said they think this is where data is kept over time. Uh, it didn't make a lot of sense to me, but anyway, that's what they said. So my data is blank. I guess yours is probably gonna be too, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna click past this. Timer, so say you wanted to set a timer, you could stop and start it here. I'm not going to, but I could. Alarm, now here's something that uh, is confusing for people. It says alarm one, if I press the button at the top here, it changes alarm to on, and when I press it again, it changes it to nothing. It doesn't actually say off. See how I'm doing that? So you want it to say nothing. Now there are actually two alarms in here, so I will click to the next one, you'll see it changes to two, and I can again toggle it on or off, and then I'll press the bottom right button again, and you'll see it's got chime, and I've got that set to off, because when this timer goes off, I don't want it to go bing, 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 uh, because it'll drive my girlfriend crazy, especially if it's seven o'clock in the morning. Now I'm going to press the bottom button on the bottom left again and go to time and bingo, there it is. But here are the other things that you can do. You know, this is your exercise if you're using it for that. I don't know that a lot of people are going to, maybe you will. There are two other things to know before we let you go. Let me just get this back to, there we go. The first thing is this is an Indiglo, which means if I press the button on the top left here, the A button as Timex calls it, for just a second, I don't hold it, it will light up the background. And because I guess it's daylight here, it's not actually showing it, but just trust me that it does. So if this is nighttime and you need a little bit of light, just press that button for a second and the backlight will come on and you'll be able to see what's going on, which is kind of cool. The second thing is there's no factory reset. Some watches have factory resets, this one does not. There is no way for you to press and hold three or four buttons at the same time or double click or quadruple click this and set it back to factory, at least not according to Timex. Now, I'll put money there is, but I don't know what it is and the Timex guy didn't know what it was. And I suppose one last thing before we go. So you can see I've got the, the day and the uh, you know day and date here. I've got it counting the steps, there's a little foot. Um, apparently, if you have the timer on or an alarm, there'll be another icon that shows up on the screen here. And so I can tell in this case, just from looking at the screen, that there is no timer, there is no alarm that's going to just go off and drive my girlfriend crazy. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's always appreciated as well. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and everybody's got an opinion.